G'day Sean, it's Kyle from Adelaide Vehicle Centre here. Just want to do that quick video I explained to you on the phone of the um, car so we can get an idea of the condition of it and uh, some of the features. So we'll start from down here. A nice deep um, centre console here with the 12 volt and the USB input. And just in front of that we've got a couple of cup holders followed by the 6 speed um, gearbox. This is all mint as you would expect, real nice. Pretty much a 20, 25,000 k old car you'd expect it to feel real decent. And beside that, we've got the four-wheel drive selection. Um, it's moving above that. It's another 12-volt input, as well as your traction control button, your hazard lights, um, your headlight beam height, and your electric mirrors on the side here. We've got your yeah, standard aircon controls in the middle with your fan speed, your temperature, and your modes through here. Um, said aircon vents are here, as well as the electric power window switches um, in the middle here as well. Now the head unit does have all the modern features you'd expect, so auxiliary input, you've got the USB we mentioned before, you've got radio and um, Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone, talk to your, talk on the phone, um, which is the only legal way to do it these days, um, through, the, through the sound system of the car. And we've also got voice control, so you can tell it to call someone as well if you don't want to have your hands on the phone or whatever, flicking through the phone book. Um, just above that we've got a auto dimming mirror, so if it senses light hitting it, it will dim. Um, you don't have to worry about that these days. Then over on the steering wheel we've got a couple of controls as well for um, answering calls and flicking through the, the menu here which is on this nice gauge cluster. So you get a couple of things on here. Um, outside temperature for instance, digital speedo, average fuel, distance to empty and tyre pressure uh, measured in bar there on the fly. Um, behind the steering wheel, you can't really see it, but there's a couple of buttons here for flicking through the volume and the stations as well. And um, lastly, there's cruise control on the steering wheel as well. And the steering wheel is made of a really nice material as well. It's a little bit soft and feels quite high quality. It is a 2015 model car, so it's quite a nice, nice little thing. Um, the roof in the Wrangler obviously does come off as well, so there's a couple of clips around the roof up here and around the back. Just pop that straight off. Um, we do have an all-weather sound system in here as well, so these are Alpine speakers on the on the bars here as well as in the front and the back, um, so you don't have to worry about damaging that in, um, in case it rains while you're out. We actually have two back seats here as well with the ability to fold down and two cup holders in the rear for passengers as well. So we'll just jump outside the car now and just give you an idea of what the condition's like outside. Really, really good shape as you'd expect. It hasn't travelled very far. I think it's quite a local car. Um, just pop under the bonnet. It's real quiet under here as well. And it barely makes a sound. We do at Adelaide Vehicle Centre offer a structural guarantee as well, which means that none of our cars have been in an accident that affects the structural integrity in any way. Um, we actually put them under an inspection ourselves to do that, and we're the only dealership in SA that offer that guarantee. Um, it's just another peace of mind thing when shopping with ABC. Just moving around the car, the all-terrain tyres still got plenty of tread on them. It's got the nice wheels on here as well, being the Sport, the sport Wrangler. General condition of the paint is pretty well perfect. Um, not really anything that I can fault on this car at all. Got the fifth, the fifth spare wheel on the back. Real easy to get into the back. While we're here, mention that it does have the tow bar fitted as well. And this just pops open like this. You'll find um, there's a subwoofer back here for the sound system. That's all weather as well. And underneath here, you'll just find the um, you'll find the jack and stuff under here. And this row of seats does fold flat as well. And there's also a final 12 volt power outlet here in case you have a fridge or something that for long trips or you're at the beach or whatever. Just continuing around the car. It is as it is. There's nothing really to. Uh, with this 
So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the condition of the car. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Sean.